Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to use the law of signs to solve word problems. And again, the main important thing when using the law of signs is we need to go ahead and create our triangle. So we have some word problems up here that the main important thing we're going to be able to do, need to do, is create our triangle so therefore we can determine how to use the law of signs to solve for our missing angle or missing length, which actually I believe in this course is both going to be lengths. All right, so the first one says the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy leans at an angle of 84.7 degrees. Um, 171 feet from the base of the tower, the angle of elevation to the top is 50 degrees. Find the height, which actually I meant like the actual height of the tower, if it was sitting straight up. So here, you know, you have your nice little Leaning Tower of Pisa. It's kind of going like this, right? And what we're saying, is, what I was saying is that angle right there is 84.7 degrees. 171 feet away is you have an angle of elevation to the top, which is 50 degrees. And then what exactly is this length right here from top to base? Because if you were to sit that up, that would be the actual height of it. So what is that length, which we'll call the height? Now the height is obviously leaned over, but that's exactly what we're looking for. So I like to draw the kind of the picture so you can kind of understand. Um, but you know, the main thing is we don't really need all the pictures. We just want the raw information, right? And usually what I like to do as well is start to label everything that I have. And usually when I have an oblique triangle, I'll just use a very standard angle here, just A, B, and C. So therefore I know angle A is 84.7, uh, angle C is 50 degrees. I can figure out angle B by saying angle B is 180 minus 84.7 minus 50 degrees. So angle B is equal to, even though I could probably do this in my head, I don't want to make the mistake and I might as well just make sure that um, I have everything done correctly so I don't need to remake the video and I get 45.3. So 45.3 degrees. Now that's very important even though we don't you think about like why do you really care about that? Well I noticed that when using the law of signs you know, remember you have to have a ratio. So here I have angle C, I don't have side C. I have angle A, I don't have side A. The only side I have is B, so that means I need to find angle B. Um, so therefore, let's see, we're gonna be using the solvent for the side, so we're actually looking for H, so we're looking for little c. So I'm gonna put that on the top. So I am going to have uh, B, so I'm gonna do B over sine of B is equal to C over sine of C. So that's gonna be my law of signs that I'm gonna use. And B we know is 171 divided by the sine of A, I'm sorry, of 45.3 is equal to little c, which we do not know, over the sine of 50 degrees. Okay? So therefore, I can just multiply the sine of 50 degrees on both sides, and I get c is equal to um, 171 times the sine of 50 degrees all over the sine of 45.3 degrees. And in this example, I'm just going to do 171 times the sine of 50, and then divide that by the sine of 45.3. Just make sure your calculator is in uh, degree mode when you're doing these problems. So we'll have C equals 184 point, uh, actually I'm just going to round this to the nearest degree, so that's just going to be 184 uh, de not degrees. The degrees actually divided out, right? So that's going to be 184 feet. Is that what we're talking about in feet? Yes. So actually the side length or the, the height of the tower, even though it is leaned over, but the height from the base to the top is going to be 184 feet, which in the realm of the problem makes a little bit of sense. Um, the next one says two lighthouses A and B are exactly 20 miles apart along the north side, north south shore. So I'm just going to create two little lighthouses. Uh, we're going to have A and we're going to have B. Um, a ship C is coming to shore and measures between the two lighthouses at 32 degrees. So we have a little C right here and looks like they're coming in the shore and they measure the angle between the two to be 32 degrees. If the lighthouse B measures the ship at 52 degrees north uh, or north 52 degrees east, How far is the ship from lighthouse B? So therefore, basically what we're looking for is looking for this little length, um, which we'll just call, actually we'll call this little a. Little a measures the distance from lighthouse B to my ship C. 
It might be confusing, but I don't want to call it little b because technically in oblique triangles we call that little b and this will be little c. Either way though, again, what you notice is we need to, again, we don't have a ratio here, so we need to, again, uh, figure out what my third machine side length is. So I can say angle A is equal to 180 minus 32 minus 52. So that's going to be 84, so A is equal to 96. I'm just going to double check just to make sure I didn't do any stupid mental math. Perfect. So therefore, that's equal to 96 degrees. And now I can set up another ratio here to solve for A. So again, I'm looking for my length A. So I'm looking for length A. So I can say A over the sine of 96 is equal to, oh, A and B are 20 miles apart. So that's C, but that's 20 miles. And that's important because now I have a ratio of what it's equal to, which is C. So that's going to be 20 over the sine of 32 degrees. So therefore, to solve for A, I just multiply by the sine of 96 on both sides. So A equals 20 times the sine of 96 degrees divided by the sine of 32 degrees. So I'll do sine of 96 times 20 divided by the sine of 32. So very similar to the other problem. And I get A is equal to 37. Actually, I'll round this to the nearest mile, 38 miles. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use the law of signs to solve your trigonometric word problems. Thanks.